Hey everyone, it is Monday the 15th of March, isn't time going fast, yes. So, I have just finished work and I'm going to get Jennifer in a bit, I'm just going to have some lunch. For all you Marilyn fans out there, this might interest you. I have decided to read my entire Marilyn book collection over the course of however long it takes. Now I have over 300 books, however, um, hang on a second, um, I... Some of them are duplicates. They have hardbacks and paperbacks of various editions. So um, if they've been reissued with no new information, I'll just read them in the order on the thing. And if they are updated, I'll read the updated version. So I'll be starting that today. So I'll let you know what book we'll be reading first. So we're at Granddad's today. We're allowed out in his garden. So she's out running with his garden then. That's right. Oh, that's, that's good. Way. Well done. One, one, more. one more scoop. Now fill that one up. Can you fill that one up? Oh, a bit more. What? That's it. Oh, granddad, knock no. it down. That's it. Yeah. Strawberry plants. What are we planting today? You know where to put it? It's on this. Put it in there. That's right. Oh, well done. Is she going there? You don't need anything to put in there. Granddad will put that in later. Come because and fill up the pots. Take a bit of grass then. Don't forget to make the hole. What? Oh, you can't see. You make your hole with the finger. That's right. It's too big. <laughs> What's too big? Let yeah, me give you something else. To yeah. Here, shall I? Hang on. Very nice in the garden now. There's a daffy up there, and there's some Ooh, yeah. over. plants over here. Very pretty, pretty. What is it? The, uh, the crocuses. The crocuses. Yeah. Some more. It's two beautiful ones up there. Okay, have a look. Um, yeah, oh, I love primroses. There. Oh yeah, I can see them. Yeah, Oh, careful, you went flying then, look. Dorothy rushes absolutely everywhere. See all the pots? <laughs> Primmies. These will be bleeding arts later, hopefully. Mummy's looking at the flowers. We always get loads of uh, primroses in our garden as well. Mommy. What are you showing Mummy, darling? That's the food. What's in the greenhouse? Are oh, those seeds? Is that what we're planting today? And what are they, Jen? Oh, the cosmos, lovely. I love those ones. You love planting, don't you? <laughs> Do I need to take them out of the way, Jen? Okay. Not get Don't want to get muddy, do we? No, that's a good girl. No, those are all done. They look good. I I fill this one up. Right, you filled those up? Whoa. Gonna brush the path instead. I stand this. What is it? That's broken. It's broken. Yeah. Put it in the bin in a minute. Plastic. Yeah, it's just a bit plastic, Jen. It won't hurt. That's it. Cut the grass in. Yeah. 
Strawberries are growing yeah. a little there. Yes, I, I seen, yeah, nice. It's gone. Okay, I'm going to go and uh, get my tea, all right? See you in a bit, Jen. I'll put your glasses in my bag safe, all right? This cut cut. You can get it out. Don't drop that all over the place, Jen. Back home now. Jennifer's got a Kinder Egg. As I said, I was going to read my Marilyn book collection, as many of them as I can. So let's start with this one. This is Marilyn, The Last 24 Hours. It's not the best book. Who's it by? By Alan Silverman. And I will tell you what about I think about it at the end. Obviously, and at the end of the month in the book roundup. Now, I won't be, I'll be reading more than one book a month. In fact, I'll probably try and read more than one book a week when it's the small ones. Because otherwise it's going to take me around six years because I've got that many books on there. So, you got it? I'm going to do this and make sure Jennifer doesn't leave chocolate everywhere. Hey guys, it's Tuesday afternoon. I didn't vlog this morning because I couldn't find the camera. In fact, obviously I found it now. Finished work, got some chips. Going to pick up Jennifer and take her to Grandad so she can go and help him in the garden. It's a beautiful day. As you can see. So yeah, I'm just going to go and get her so she can have some food with me and do some gardening. And uh, yeah, I'll show you what we get up to in a bit. Are you right, Jennifer? To pick up the table because it blew over in the wind the other day, didn't it? on you. Uh, uh, uh. I'll get a cloth and wipe it later, darling. I don't eat that. Don't get ankles. That's it, eat ankles. Dad, you get ankles. You get ankles? Yeah. I don't know what she means. Mm. Apples. That was the one we bought you two years ago on all day. It's all gone flat now. <laughs> Where's the boring? You get ankles. They get stuck on the pair of brambles. Oh. Oh, isn't it? Wow! Come here, stay away, Jen. Don't want you getting hurt. They hurt, don't they? Oh, you're stuck! Yeah, they have to get them cut off before some of you say so. It's Wednesday afternoon and we're at the canal because Jennifer kicked off because she wanted to go for a walk and feed the ducks. She's just stopped for a drink. So I didn't vlog this morning because it's the same old, same old working nonsense, so... <sighs> She's having a little drink. You right there, sweetheart? It's a bit grey today. What's up there? What's what where? I can't see anything, Jennifer. Who's there? I don't know. That's just something floating in the canal, I think. I wouldn't worry about it. it. Like a stick oh, no, or something. No, no. Hold on to your bread. Oh, my bread. Um. Oh, no, well, that's it. Put the top back on. Now, there's a bike coming, so you're going to have to get out of the way. I wanted to throw bread for the ducks, but she's actually eating all the bread. It's fresh bread. It's not stale. She's throwing the odd bit, but generally, she's just eating it. And the poor duckies don't know whether they're coming or going. Are you going to throw some more? You're going to throw it for the ducks, or are you just going to eat it all? <laughs> 
There they go. I don't know, sweetheart. Collecting sticks now. To throw in the canal afterwards, aren't you? Are you going to throw them off the bridge? Yeah? Okay. Oh, all right, you be careful though. I'll get I don't know, what's the finger doing? <laughs> you think about sticks, haven't you? There's the ducks. They've been eating all the bread. Well, when Jennifer's actually thrown it to them. She's been eating most of it, haven't you? Here comes Mrs. Duck. Oh, good. Oh, they're eating it together. Any more bread? Have you ate it all? There's a, there's a bread there. I know. Good girl. No, no. No. You ready to go home? Oh, oh. Want some help? On the way home, and she always wants to stop and sit outside the Prince of Wales for some reason. Shame it's not open. I can't wait for it to reopen. It's my favourite pub. Beautiful view as well as the valley. Even if there's a cemetery over there. Careful, Jennifer! You're not having a big stick from over there, I'm telling you. Jason wouldn't be happy. Stop pulling faces. We just saw some squirrels, didn't we, Jen? Yeah, up on the bank. Too far away to take any pictures, but it was nice to see them playing go home in a minute and have a cup of tea i think so it's wednesday night uh paul's impaired he's not feeling too good locked out to really get into him um he's just fed up and i don't blame him uh jennifer's in bed asleep finally took a while to get her in because she did not want to go and i've just come up i don't even know what time it is to do some coloring i'll be filming tomorrow because paul's zooming it's only just gone nine so it's fine um, so I'm just going to sit here and watch some YouTube and colour for a little bit and see what comes up. Yeah, just enjoy myself. I'm colouring one from the new Ava Brown book, which is Cute Ocean. I'm doing this little starfish here. Even though his little circles are really freaking me out a little bit, I don't like them. It's not bad. If there was lots of them, I would really hate it. It's not too bad like that, though. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you later. Probably tomorrow now. A lovely, lovely Thursday afternoon, and we're down at Grandad's, and she's playing with a ball, obviously, digging holes, annoying Grandad. Look at that, pretty flowers. Oh, I you. <laughs> you love playing with your ball, don't you, Jan? And she's falling down. <laughs> I know she's always on the floor, isn't she? You should have seen her yesterday sitting on the canal. So work was all right, all over now, and uh, come down here to. What is it? I thought I oh, was it a holly leaf. Holly yeah, off the holly bush. They be spiky, those, darling. Uh, don't don't pick them up, darling. They hurt. I know. I got pricks in my fingers. Yeah, I bet. Picking up everything she can find on the grass. That's because I was doing it just now. Are you alright, darling? Daddy's broken in the garden. And it's broken. What's broken, darling? Glasses. The glasses? No, no they're in my bag. What is? Oh, Dad broke, Daddy broke the washing basket last Daddy, night. Daddy. He was in a strop and he kicked Daddy. it. Did he, put, did he do something silly? Yeah, we're in the bathroom. Oh, so, yeah, out, out, out my, in my garden. So we had to put it out in the garden because we, we can't take it anywhere to get rid of it at the moment. Oh, yeah. 
Well, it's pit tips open. Yeah, but you have to queue at the moment. They're looking at putting a booking system in. Everybody's but. Yeah, it's all right. Hey guys, it's Friday. I know I haven't vlogged much again. I'm naughty. I've got my two items to pack this afternoon. I think I'll go for tomorrow. So once I've picked up Jennifer, I'm going to do that. I'm kind of watching uh, in between calls a bit of Marilyn documentaries. I'm in a really Marilyn mood, so so I've just got sort of Marilyn stuff on at the moment, which is nice. I'm just. Uh, I'm just going to take some headache pills my head's coming, so I've just taken a couple of minutes just to have a rest. So I filmed my current chat, I'm just uploading it at the moment, and tonight I'll be filming my Mozart uh, video to try and get that done. So I'm thinking about starting up so many people I know on some of these documentaries, both personally and because they're famous and new Marilyn, um, of doing this new channel I was going to do about uh, movies, music and more. But I'm thinking I'm actually just going to leave the vinyl vlog and periodically upload there. I've got one to film for them. I do that tonight actually. And start a new channel called, because I think I've got another channel set up that I haven't used, so I'm going to have a look at that. And I'm going to call it Andrea at the Movies, and it's going to be out all my favourite films, and um, when I buy and get new film collection stuff. So would you be interested in that? So we'll have Andrea's Attic, which is for uh, colouring and booktube. We have the vinyl vlog, which is all things music. That might change, I might change the name for that. And then I'll have a third channel, which is called Andrea at the Movies. And it won't be a very big channel, it'll just be periodic. It's just for me to talk about movies, which I love to do. And I mean, I talk about them on here all the time, but I can make specific videos about uh, what DVDs and books and films and I've got or stuff. Anyway, I'm going to call it a, a, a day for now. I've finished my shift. I'm going to get Jennifer, but oh my God, my head's hurting. So I'm hoping for a nice quiet afternoon. At least Paul's off so I can uh, sneak off if I need to for a rest my head in the quiet later. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Jennifer didn't eat all her lunch at nursery so she's got a little McDonald's and it's got a dinosaur in it because it's a Jurassic World Cramp Camp Cretaceous thing. So we're going to make up her little do dinosaur later, won't we? We'll have a look at it. Yeah, all right, I got you. It's Friday evening, Jennifer's gone to bed. Yay, bless her. It's been all right today, hasn't she? Been a good girl. And me and Paul are going to have some sticky toffee pudding with custard, but we wait until she's gone to bed, because, you know, it's adult stuff, but it's not for kids. No way. My favourite. And uh, Paul's going to have a Zoom chat with one of his mates, and I'm going to go upstairs and watch Marilyn Monroe, because I fancy watching a bit of, do of that, bit Marilyn again. Do some calorie at the same time. So, yeah. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to eat my pudding. So Paul's doing his Zoom thing with his mates. I have got here a very dusty photograph album, which is one of my Marilyn scrapbooks. I have no idea what number it is, um, but it does. Um, remember, I started doing these in 1990, I think. And this is... Oh, this is empty. This one's empty. Oh no, it's not. It's got. A, I always leave one page at the front to put a d decent picture on. I got a bit confused. So this one is from 2009, 2010. It's not been finished. Um, so I'm just having a quick look through it. Um, and I've got my folders here. This is. Um, let me just turn this. These are folders of newspaper clippings. Each one represents a year from 2010 to 2020. So this is what I've got that's got to go in. It's not all just clipping. Sometimes if it's a magazine, the whole magazine is in there. Sometimes it's, um, it might just be a, a, a newspaper as well. So, so this is from like 2009. Oh look, there's a, a Miss Kennedy. This is our Susie. So, I've been in a kind of Marilyn mood today, so... I'm going to uh, try and put some, do a bit, see what I've got. I've got some clippings here that need to be sorted out. There might be some from 2020 there. And uh, yeah, so that's as far as I am, her, ribs, her rib cage, uh, <laughs> her chest x-ray. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have a look at this and see what I can do. Well, Guys, it's Friday evening and I'm going to go to bed in a minute. I'm just watching some recordology. I was enjoying myself. I was I watched some good videos. Uh, and then I stumbled on about this stupid drunk guy ranting about why you shouldn't be a fan and idolise Marilyn Monroe, which uh, 
He's a rapper. Really? What does he know about anything? Rap's crap. It's just noise. It doesn't mean anything. You can't understand what they're saying. So, he was a bit of a dickhead, so I'm going to be honest. Uh, I then saw that uh, Biographics had posted a video on Terry Pratchett so, today, so I went and watched that and it made me cry. So I'm going to watch a bit of Recordology and I'm going to go to sleep. But yeah, that guy really pissed me off. It's like, he does rap, so he's scum anyway, because most rappers are. Sorry, they are. It's not music, it's noise. Most of it condones violence and you know and treating women badly and I'm not saying his does because I don't know but most of it does I don't like it it's not music it's horrendous and the quotes he used as reasons why he shouldn't lie Eliza wasn't even anything she ever said it's stuff that's come out in on the internet in the last few years so what a dick anyway uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna go there with that anyway. So, you know, if people like rap, that's up to them. I don't, it's just noise to me. Sorry, it is. I like music that has a tune and people that can sing. That's the essence of the phonograph. Um, down here, you've got and you know, not all electronic rubbish. Not that all electronic stuff's rubbish, because I do like some electronic stuff. I'm not going to rant about music, because we all have our different tastes. But, how dare you tell me what I shouldn't or shouldn't idolise? You know, F off. Pull back under your rock, you troll. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Normal programming will be resumed tomorrow. Um, I'll see you then. Hey guys, it is Saturday, and it's Saturday afternoon. Um, I haven't vlogged a day yet because I haven't done anything because Jennifer had me up at 4am came out to bed for a bit and then I had a stinking headache that's when Paul got up but I just want to show you something downstairs this is what happens when you get up at 4am sound asleep I put my dressing gown over it to keep her warm but uh, now half past two. I just crashed out about half an hour ago. So let's keep the little chops. Hey guys, so it's about I don't know half eight ish. I guess. Yeah, it's coming up to half eight. Uh, Jennifer's in bed. She's not quite asleep. Paul's really tired. It's been a long day because she's had us up since you know. 4 a.m. on and off. We've had both had doses, but it's just not the same. So Paul's gone to bed. I've come in into the the room here. I'm gonna do some colouring and watch some YouTube. because um, she doesn't want a blanket on her when she goes to bed. She says I don't need it. So uh, what I'll do is later on I'll go down. I'll go to the bathroom. Or top up my water because it needs to be topping up later. I'll uh, put a blanket over and make sure she's warm enough but uh yeah she's been a funny girl today <laughs> like I said she crashed out for hours this afternoon I'm gonna finish some pictures so I'm gonna try and finish this one from Ava Brown's uh cute ocean and then there was another one I was gonna try and finish oh yeah I've got one in a Jade Summer fantasy book which is their uh oh, what's it called is the leprechaun I just haven't finished it so I'm gonna finish that I'm gonna leave it till next year that would be silly. Um, so I'm gonna watch some uh, true crime stuff, I think, on uh, YouTube for a bit. I'm still in a Marilyn mood. I've got a book in there that I'm gonna be reading in a bit when I've finished colouring at least one of these pictures. So I'm gonna crack on with that. That will probably be it for some. I know these folks are all hit and miss at the moment, but there's not really a lot to, to do. It's all very much, um, not a lot. Now, hopefully next week things will start opening up again and we'll be able to go to shops and uh, places. We can, still can't travel very far, but uh, that will come. So there'll be a bit more going on soon to show you, hopefully, especially when the weather gets better. So I'm going to call it a night. It's Sunday tomorrow. So that's shopping. Anything Granny and Granddad needs. And I've got orders to pack, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. I still haven't done any eBay. I'll take a day off and not go mad on it but like do i've got loads of stuff that needs to be measured and rephotoed so i think i might do that and then um you know i can just 
start getting things done a bit. Once I get back into it, it'll be fine. It's just forcing myself back into it at the moment. And I'm not worrying too much about it. We're nearing the end of the tax year, so... Next April, I think it's April 6th is the start of the new tax year. That's when I'm really going to start taking it seriously again and trying to just make a little bit of profit after everything I buy and costs next year and if I can make a little bit of profit it's just going to stay in one account for the entire year and then I'll move it to a savings account or I'll you know obviously if I need to buy stuff I've got money there to take it from so that's fine so I'm going to move yeah, I'm just working out which way it's going to go because uh, yeah that'll go into that one that'll go into that one yeah it's fine I can work it out anyway I'm going to go now and, and crack on and do this uh finish off this lovely little picture so they're using the uh, Who Who's and oh god what was it the um the shuttle arts and the sharpies anything really want well, it depend on what color i want so i'll see you tomorrow bye guys hey everybody it is sunday jennifer did it again she had me up at six o'clock this morning so not as bad as yesterday but still bad that's fact she didn't go to sleep properly until after midnight she kept waking up every hour and calling so i've been up and down so yeah again i'm shattered but uh, it's not too bad it's not as bad as yesterday i did have a bit of sleep this morning um paul got up and i went back up and it's still morning so yeah I'm going to go shopping in a little while. I've got a few bits to get for my mum and take her shopping done. And then oh, I've got my usual boring stuff like sort out the washing and put that away and um, stuff like that. Have lunch. But I'm going to get going because I want to get to the shops, get back and uh, I've got a pile of washing to do. It's just never ending. So, but yeah, it's all good. I mean, yeah, I feel okay. Yeah. I might try and do, I'm going to try and do some measuring tonight. Um... Try and get some stuff listed. Not photographed. I'm not in the mood for photographing. I might see if there's a day off I can have in the week and then I can do some photographs. I've also got sort on my phone because I've got a load of photographs on here I've got to get to, but they're so far back now because I haven't been deleting stuff. Um, so I'll go and delete everything I don't want to keep. And you just, just like my colouring and stuff. I don't keep them on there. I can always re-photograph that if I need it. That goes on the, um, straight onto Facebook, into my colouring folder. Um, yeah anyway i'm gonna crack on and i will see you in a little bit back from shopping had some lunch i'm gonna have some fruit in a minute but i've got oh, 10 ton of washing to sort out and a load more to go on including jennifer's sheets possibly even mine if i can find my bedding <laughs> and uh paul's taking her down the park so i can get on with this in peace because if she's here she sort of jumps on everything and messes it up and I sort it out tidy so I can put it straight into where it goes in the drawers. <sighs> so Sunday afternoon, the joy of my life, sorting out the washing and putting even more washing on them. Mm. So I swear all I do is washing. I seem to be doing like either a load every single day or three or four loads in one go. I can't I can't stay on top of it. Still, that's what happens, little kid. How my mum coped with me, Richard, Chris her dad and mum and, and and herself and and my dad six of us in one household for a little while i do not know how she kept on top of all the washing kudos to her okay she didn't work she was a stay-at-home mum most of the time but she did go out and do work every now and again like at christmas um, you know temp work for extra money for christmas and stuff but how she stood, like, stayed on top of it even then i don't know so fair play to her fair play to her i say I have two dogs as well. Two dogs, a mouse, probably a goldfish and a rabbit. I really don't know how she did it, but she did. Fair play. We always had clean clothes. So and I make sure Jennifer's always got clean clothes. That's why I'm going to do it now. So I'm going to crack on with that. And then if I can get it done in time, I'll get changed. And I'll just have a little doze while they're out. So, But I want to get her sheets off and put clean sheets on her bed as well. So, And mine if I can. So see you in a bit. Hey everyone, it's Sunday night. It's been a really quiet day. Um, Jennifer wasn't feeling very well. She's uh, not been herself. She's got a terrible cold, a bit of a cough, slight temperature. She was complaining her tummy was hurting. She really wasn't herself. You know, we bath her on a Sunday night and normally she, we get her clean, you know, and then we play games like... Um, she covers us both with bubbles and scrubs our faces clean and our arms and she didn't want to do that much today and she knew she spends about 10 minutes pretending to be a shark she didn't want to do that in fact she she did it for a second and said enough enough now out now 
she wanted to come out so I think she's not feeling a hundred percent so I got her dry we had a cuddle and I gave her some cow pollen she's uh, snug up in her bed so I've come into the spare room because I want to dry my hair so I've just had a shower as well which is really nice needed that all I've done all weekend is washing <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm watching a YouTube true crime crime channel called Gabby Loso, and it's a young girl called Gabby, and she's a researcher, and she researches uh, true crime stories, most of which are like 20 years or older, so they're very vintage. So some of them go back 100 years, some 20, 30, 40, 50 years. It's fascinating stuff. I find it very fascinating. Obviously, as an American YouTuber, it's pretty much all American stuff, which is cool. I like learning about stuff, and um, it gives you an idea of where places are, because she shows a map, this is where this happened. So you get an idea of where it is in the US. In Canada, she's done Canada as well, and I'm just watching a few of them, so... I'm going to write my little diary up. I don't want to write it every day, just when I feel I want to say something. I'm not colouring tonight, I'm too tired. Uh, and tomorrow I plan on colouring as much as I can. I'm going to plan on making videos. I want to do some eBay and start getting ready for the change of the tax year. Uh, and so on. And I'm, so I'm just going to chill and watch some YouTube. Probably go down and get some water in a bit because my jug's nearly empty. Get some fresh water. <sighs> I'd uh, watch some YouTube and chill out in bed and probably end up falling asleep watching TV like I do most days. But I got the phone on my alarm set and uh, we thought a week and a bit so I'm not too worried about finishing off my um, whips. Though I obviously will try and get them done over the course of the next week and a half. Most of what I've done is patterns this month but some not, sometimes you just don't feel like colouring much else so anyway that's it for this weekly vlog i hope you have enjoyed it i'm not sure whether i'm going to do one next week or not i might do don't know if anything's going to happen although the non-essential shops are supposed to be opening so you never know you might go somewhere but i doubt it anyway i will see you tomorrow I, th I probably will do it it might be a short one the weather's getting better it means me and jen can get out and play and, and in the garden and, and stuff so yeah I'll see you tomorrow. I hope you've had a lovely week and weekend. And we'll start it all again tomorrow on Monday. Bye, guys.